Here's my son, Ken. Hi. Um, today I went to Kumon with you, and I got this, and I went to everybody. So proud of you. So what do you want to do now? So because of that, I'm going to teach you how to do the example in this problem. Okay. Number one. The example. The first in the example. If you plus them, you times them. You times the anti-log of them. So log base 2, log of x times x minus 1, base 2 is less than 1. Since the base 2 is greater than 1, maybe it has to be greater than 1, it's just the easy way. You change you don't change the sign because it's greater. So x times x minus 1, the anti-logarithm, is less than 2 to the 1. And then you just simplify that, get into polynomial form, and then factor it, and then you get x equals negative 1 comma 2, and then that... And then if you wanted to get that into a range or... That would be negative 1 is less than x, which is less than 2. Since the anti-logarithms are greater than 0 always, x is greater than 0 because there is, it's x plus 0. And x minus 1 is greater than 0. Now, see? If x is greater than 0 and x is greater than 1, the more important one, because it's x is greater than... The bigger one is 1, so really you don't need the x is greater than 0. You need the x is greater than 1 mostly. So, well, 1 is smaller than 2, so we want to before the 2. And negative 1 is smaller than 1, so we place the negative 1 with the 1. And then that becomes 1 is less than x, which is less than 2. 1 is less than x, which is less than 2. Now I'm going to show you on a different problem. Log... 3, and then times them, x minus 2, x minus 4, and then that is less than 1. Now, since the base, 3, is greater than 1, x minus 2, x minus 4, is less than 3 to the power of 1, which is 3. And that means x squared, we're just multiplying this out, x times x plus x times negative 4, plus negative 2 times x, plus negative 2 times 4. So, x squared, and then negative 4x minus 2x is negative 6x, and then negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8, which is less than 3. x squared minus 6x plus 8, uh, well, 8 minus 3 is 5, we just transpose the 3, is less than 0. So now... Um, we've got that. I actually shouldn't have factored that. Um, but now I could factor this. I actually should have factored that so that we can minus out the 3. Now, we've got that. Now, factor it again. Well, negative 5 and negative 1. That works. x equals 5 comma 1. Actually, I'm not going to write that. So now, if x equals 5 comma 1, if you are on it in two range form, 1 is less than x, which is less than 5. Now, if the antilogums are greater than 0, x minus 2 times x minus 4, x is greater than 2, x is greater than 4. So, the more important one is x is greater than 4. So, 4 is less than x, which is less than 5. And that is the right answer. Okay, let's see. We have the answer key here. What page are we on? 25. Yep. Yay, X is...
in this focus. Four is less than X, which is less than five. Great um, job. You're so smart, Ken. Okay.